freaky feet. <laughs> Guess what I just found? Oh man, that's freaking awesome! Fossils, yeah, we find them. Fossils, we're the fossil freaks. Fossils, yeah, we lick them from Cretaceous to Triassic. Fossils are fantastic. Fossils, yeah, we dig them. Fossils, we're the fossil freaks. Fossils, yeah, we love them. Watch the fossil freaks on the fossil freak show. A fossil freak show? What's a fossil freak show? I don't know. Some guys doing a show about fossils and their freaks? Watch the fossil freaks on the fossil freak show. Well, hello guys. Yay. It's the freaks again. The fossil freaks. So we're heading to a spot along the Puntledge River, and we, we do have to say certain things here about certain spots because we can't give all the locales away. That's the fun finding it yourself. A lot of these places we've came across ourselves too. Hey, eh? it's it's all fun. That's right. Searching and looking. And, and really, the thing is, is you, you not to be digging in parks. That's a big no-no. Uh, Anything found in a park, and you just gotta leave it or get a permit. Private property, you gotta get permission if you go yeah. through private property. We, you know, we, we we try to respect we respect all that, and uh, we just want to show our love of fossils. That's right, we love so, fossils. So this little spot on the Puntledge here has proven to be pretty uh, pretty rich in all kinds of different oh. species of things. Uh, so we're gonna go check it I out. Found so much stuff there before. Yeah, you've got a ton. Yeah, rock on. Rock on, guys. See you oh, guys, we're down here at the river. We're checking it out. Haven't found anything yet, but we just got here. Uh, I just found something. Oh no. Yeah. Want to see it? Yeah, sure. Here, I'll show it to you guys. Come on, what did you find? What did you find, Freaky Bead? Oh, a clip, Cosmos. Right in situ, still right exactly where. It... Oh yeah, eh? Some, yeah. Sometimes those they have nice uh, turrets. <coughs> It'll go around in a circle, and then there'll be a little turn at the end that spirals up like a hedomorph. Those are what you really want to find. If, if that was what it was, I'd be calling you something. <laughs> <laughs> Well, very cool. I think, I think, and we've only been here what, maybe, uh, maybe five minutes. Five minutes. I haven't found anything yet, so that's not good. Yeah. No, I don't like that. But okay. uh, we'll see you guys in a bit. We've got a little bit of a weird concretion. I'm hoping it's a lobster. Usually, when they're long, narrow, with lines, you have a good chance that there's a lobster. But I'm always hoping, eh? I think it looks good, just because if you look at the end of it. Oh, no, maybe not. Nothing in that. Well, it's yeah. hard to say. I'll give a little crack here. No, I think it might be a... Oh. Yep. Yes. So it is a lobster. It is squished though, isn't it? Yes, it's uh Okay, that, that's about all. Just show the camera here. And it's... Okay, <laughs> yeah, he is in there, but he is pretty squished. And uh, I have a bit more of his... Uh... So he should be going that way, so uh, it might disappear. His tail might not even be in here. No, but that's a bit of a lobster. You don't find lots of them around here, but... Excellent. Cool. Hey, freaky feet! I found a little bit of an ammonite over here. Well, a little uh, bit of an ammonite over uh, here. <laughs> uh, it's still totally in situ. Most of it's buried, but uh, it'll be an easy uh, dig here. Uh, I'm just hoping it's all there. You never know. Eh? A lot Let's of have a look. I think it's Epigonisaurus. Yeah. Yeah, you want to start away from it, definitely. Usually when digging them out, uh, the big mistake we've made is we've started in too close and you actually can start digging into the living chamber. Especially the big pack of discus ammonites. Those ones you really have to start out way farther around. It, sometimes it takes a little while. This is a loose shale. It's not in a concretion. So it's, uh, it's, it should be a lot easier to... That's definitely an Epigodiceris. Just hope, Let's hope it's all there. Yeah, oops. Sorry about that camera people. Okay. Oh. Some, oh. 
Yeah, you want to try not to disturb it too much because you can easily crack them when they're not in a concretion, when they're just loose in the matrix. Yeah, they're a lot more fragile when they're loose than when they're in the concretion there. And you see, this stuff just flakes away. You can pull it with your fingers almost. Oh, she's coming loose now. Oh. It looks like it's there. I don't know. It's a little distorted, isn't it? It looks like it's squished a bit. Oh yeah, that's just gonna flake. Oh, oh. oh it might be, uh, there's the other piece. I'll put that, we'll check it out here. I don't think it's all gonna be there, but you don't know. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be all there. We'll have to put it back together here in a bit and see what it looks like, I think. Here, let's have a look at the piece that did come out. Oh, just a little flattened. Uh, so it does go on. Center doesn't really look like it's there, does it? No. No. Just a fragment. Just a part of it. Yeah. But you, al you always hope they're here. Yeah. 80, 80 million years or whatever. So that's what we're looking for. Different types of these sea critters that kind of swam around ammonites and lobsters and crabs and other cool stuff. Okay. Did a little hericeris here. Uh, it's really badly squished. I've still left it in situ basically, but the shale around it's very, very unstable. So I, I can actually take pieces away. You'll see how loose it is. Let's see if we can flip it over and it might be in better condition on the other side. But it's, oh, it's, it looks pretty well squished all the way through, and, my guess. But. And it is breaking apart here. So let's flip this. Okay, yeah, it's pretty squished even on the other side. Uh, yeah, that's that's not really going to be a great specimen. That, no, there might be a little bit of the center in there, but you you have to crazy glue that to try to keep it together because oh. it's just going to blow apart. Yeah. Oh, maybe the inside. It is not a hericeris. Oh, an epi. Pardon me. Yeah. <laughs> Pardon me. We're, we're just. We're going to get it right one of these days. We're, we're what they call we're we're self-taught paleontologists. We just love to go out and educate people about the the beauty out there because there's some nice stuff out there oh no i don't think it's going to have a center but no, that it's shows not. right oh, that's it it shows people a little bit when they're in the loose they deteriorate really fast so they do it's quite important to get them what's well, that the story river, the, that story somebody had said about it's kind of like harvesting fruit you know if you don't keep on it the fruit goes bad. Oh, it's wise a, man told, said exactly that once. The yes. Same thing. You have to go out quite regularly, and uh, or else it corrodes away, tumbles away, and nobody gets to see. Real it. quick. Yep. Right on. Rock on. Watch the Fossil Freaks on the Fossil Freak Show!